you, you said cocoon, uh, and you kind of uh, uh, paint, uh, I think in the book, uh, I've read a lot of your articles too on the Scientific American, which are brilliant, so I'm kind of mixing things up in my head a little Go bit. Ahead. But there's, uh, what does that co cocoon look like? What is a civilization that's able to harness the power of multiple suns, for example? Um, look like they give when you imagine possible civilizations that are a million years more advanced than us what do you think that actually like looks like i think it's very different than we can imagine uh, by the way i should start from the point that even biological life you know just uh, without technology getting into the game uh could look like something we have never seen before mm -hmm. uh, take for example the nearest star which is proxima centauri it's four and a quarter light years away. So they will know about the results of the 2016 elections only next month in February, 2021. Yes. Um, it's very far away. Um, but um, if you think about it, um, you know, this, this uh, star is a, is a dwarf star and uh, it's much cooler than, it's uh, twice as cold as the sun, okay? Mm -hmm. And it emits mostly infrared radiation. So if there are any creatures on a, the planet close to it that is habitable, mm -hmm. which is called Proxima B, there is a planet in the habitable zone, in the zone just at the right distance where in principle liquid water can be on the surface. Mm -hmm. uh, if there are any animals there, they have infrared eyes because our eyes was designed to be sensitive to where most of the sunlight is in the visible range. But Proxima Centauri emits mostly infrared. So who you know, the nearest to see each other <laughs> in the nearest uh, star system, these animals would be quite strange. They would have eyes that are detectors of infrared, very yeah. different from ours. Moreover, this planet Proxima B faces the star always with the same side, mm -hmm. so it has a permanent day side and a permanent night side. And uh, obviously, the creatures that would evolve on the permanent day side, which is much warmer, would be quite different than those on the permanent night side. Between them, there would be a permanent sunset strip. And my daughters said that that's the best opportunity for high value real estate, because you will see the sunset throughout your life, right? <laughs> yeah. it ne the sun never sets uh, on, this, on this strip. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, these worlds are out of our imagination. So just even the individual creatures, the, the sensor suite that they're operating with might be very different. Very different. So I think when we see something like that, we would be shocked.